Alrighty guys, welcome to Tech Sector Media, where we help you get the best out of your tech. Today we're reviewing the Asus VG245H gaming monitor, which comes console ready, game fast input, has a 1 millisecond response time, 2x HDMI, full HD 1080p, plus game, where you can play like a pro, and very important, eye care. So let's go ahead and just switch out this real quick. One, two, boom. All right. So what we got here is just a few attachments. Basically, just a power brick. Uh, it comes with an HDMI port. I believe it came with the optical port. Comes with uh, the power cord. Just a lot of the simple and basic stuff that we'll end up needing to go ahead and put the stuff together along with the baseboard for the actual monitor. So right here at the bottom, it has a little like latch that you can twist to tighten it up. So we'll go ahead and put this down real quick. Let's get the monitor right on top of it. Once you clip it in, that's when we'll actually be able to twist it. So once you just push it right in like that, right here, just a little latch. Go ahead and twist that clockwise. Go ahead and get it nice and tight. Yep, twist it on there, good. There we go. And now you have a nice looking monitor. Alright, so this thing right here also can move really far down and go really high as well. So right here, that's down. Right there is just the little system they have that you actually pull it up and down on. That's how it looks when it's up. It's actually pretty high up there and then same way we could push it all the way back down and that's how it looks when it's down which is actually a really convenient thing to do as well with the fact that it could go a full 360 so if I wanted to pull it all the way up and flip it in the full circle and have it upside down I could do that too another cool thing is you could tilt uh, tilt it forward and backwards so that's very good especially if you were to like sit, be sitting on a bunk bed and want to see it or if you're laying down and you want to be able to see it or your chair is low or your chair is high and you could like adjust it to your angle now let's go ahead and put the power cord in there's just a small hole on the right side of the monitor that will go ahead and just try to tuck this into Alright guys, so we just powered this puppy on. Let's go ahead and turn on the PlayStation. Now, really cool thing is once you turn on the PlayStation, your monitor automatically turns on, as long as you don't turn it off and have it in rest mode. Alright, so there are the buttons right there in the back, the very bottom is the power, the very top is the joystick you're able to use. We'll talk about those a little bit further in a bit. So let's go ahead and click on top joystick that you've seen this just gives you control of everything all the other buttons will be clicking individual features so let's get started blue light filter we have different levels I mean it's completely up to you with how you want it I always just keep it on zero though I mean it looks perfectly fine to me let's go through it one more time There we go. That's how it looks when it cycles through all of them. We'll go ahead and go down one more. This one will bring us to color, where we have brightness, contrast, uh, we got color temp, and smart view. Those are just a few of the things that we have. Go ahead and go down one more time, and we'll be going over to image. So we have trace free, aspect, control, vivid pixel, and more. Going down another one, we have the volume. 
we all know what that does the master volume you gotta click over to the right side then you're able to actually move it up and move it down on with the joystick and then once you go back out we also have mute if you wanted to mute your monitor and then we also have source where you're able to select your HDMI port right now I have HDMI for my uh, PlayStation plugged in right now <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't figure out what the name of that was real quick yeah then we go to input HDMI 1 HDMI 2 I also have my Chromecast plugged in then we go over to smart setup where we have just a bunch of these different modes that we go through and then we go down one more and we have favorites where you're actually able to put a certain setting you want save that and then once you click on it you can always activate that setting if you were to switch it and you were just like wait I don't forgot what I actually put you'll have it saved RPS slash RPG mode and then click it and click no. Okay. Alright, now go back left. Now click it. Now you're good. Now go left. Left again. Now you're racing mode. Go down. Go down. Brightness. Lower it down, lower it down the brightness a little bit. I'll tell you what's up. Lower it down to 85. We'll put it back up to 85. I haven't got a dress. There you go. Left, left. Let me do something real quick. See you later. I go where? Go down. Go down again. Um, oh, you're keeping it on that one. You're not putting it back to RTS. What do you mean? Go up to the thing. Yeah, you're on RGB. Go to RTS. There you go. Left. Go down. Oh. Go down again. Um, go down again. Go down again. I mean, that's all I have for mine. I'm pretty sure that's all I have for mine for settings. While you have it all the way down. Yeah, HDMI 1, VGH, Thermal Echo. And there's like a book, that's what I have it on. But there's a bunch of cool things, like a bunch of cool features that you can do. Alright, uh, so that's all the settings you have it on? Yeah. And, and then, like for casual games. What is this? All presets? Yeah. So if I click save, the settings I just put are going to the set, uh, setting one? Yeah. So setting one, if you want RTS mode, you click it. You click setting one, and then I'll put it on the year after the setting. Wait, mom. Do I have to be in the game for it to show the frames per second? Um... What do you mean? Like the counter? Yeah. Um... Or do I not have to be in the game? You shouldn't have to be in the game. Because it's showing the counter for the PlayStation, right? Yeah, you shouldn't have to um, have a game running. I just don't know what, what it was that I found that on. Definitely wasn't this. Wasn't this. It said timeout. I know, but it wasn't that. It's supposed to be. Hold on. Let me check my monitor. Alright, so let me do this real quick. Remember that the laptop is on that uh, thing. Yeah, I know the laptop's right there. <laughs> 
Why do the ears have this? Look, come here. Come to my uh, monitor. Give me a moment. Why does yours look smaller? What size did you get? Huh? What size did you get, Jude? 24 inch. 24 inch, yeah. 24 inch. You said go to what for that one thing to restart? To where it blacks out? Uh, go down. Go to the right. Yep, click out. Or you can go down. Pre-sync. Pre-sync. To the right. On. To the right. And then turn it off, you do the same thing, but go to the off, and then you click to the right. Your monitor looks smaller. Like, if you look at my monitor, doesn't my monitor look bigger? Or am I just going crazy? I might just be going crazy. And my monitor has the thing that I'm talking about when I do it. Game visual. Go ahead and click on the button. Which one? The third, third one. I believe it was. All right, and then I'll say if you click on the third button, game visual pop up. And if you click on the second, we'll get this screen where we get game plus. And you got the crosshair. Go ahead and turn on the crosshair. Click on one of them. Should I probably pick the red one, right? Pick the pop up. No, you can see it. And then go ahead and switch it to a red one real quick. Oh, and you can move it. Look, you can move the crosshair around. Yeah. Alright, you can go to another one. Okay, get out of that. And then what's the other setting you're showing me the frames per second? On top left. Click on the button. What is that for? Second timer. Count down on the top left. So you only have 30 minutes to play video games. Oh, okay. Alright, you're good. Display alignment. It shows the alignment of your screen. Alright, we're good. Oh.